Bazel is a powerful building environment, and while it may take some time to configure your build, once you have all the settings in place, your build system will scale with the size of your team. But as you develop your app, switching back and forth to the command line can be a little tedious. The good news is that Bazel has a plugin that works with Android Studio. This allows you to integrate Bazel directly into your workflow. When you switch to this plugin, Android Studio will switch to Bazel instead of using Gradle to compile your Android code. To get started, open up Android Studio. We'll need to first install the Bazel plugin. Open up your plugin manager and search for Bazel. Click on the install button. Then enable the plugin. You may need to open and close your IDE a couple of times for Android Studio to realize that the plugin is installed. Now we need to import our project into Bazel. From the project selection, click on the More Actions button. Then click the Import Bazel Project option. We are first prompted to select our workspace. Navigate to your Mono Repos workspace and select it. Click Next. Make sure that the Create from Scratch option is selected, then click Next. Now we get to configure our Bazel project file. First, we'll set up our directories. We're using a Mono Repo, but we only want to import our Android project. Replace the period with the Bullseye Android folder name. Keep the derived targets from directory set to true. Next, add our build target. For the additional languages, we'll need to designate that we're using the Kotlin language. Uncomment out the Kotlin language option. Finally, we'll also need to designate our platform. In our case, we're using Android 32. Now we have our app configured. Click the Finish button. When Android Studio loads our project, you'll notice that we now have a Bazel menu option. We also have a Bazel heart placed in the menu bar. The heart is the sync button. This will query Bazel to set up the IDE's project structure to fit Bazel's model. Now, if you run into a problem, you can open the Bazel menu and select the Expand Sync to Working Set. You can also edit your Bazel project file as well. Click the Bazel menu button and select the project and Open Project View File button. Now we want to configure our build targets. Click the configuration and then the edit configurations button. Right now we have one configuration. Select this configuration. You can see we can pass in our flags. Let's update our configuration to use our DEX configuration. You'll also see native debugging, which is critical to use breakpoints and the like. We're going to just run this on the emulator without debugging, so uncheck both the native debugging and mobile install. Now close out the dialog. Build and run the latest version. And with that, we are working with Bazel integrated directly into Android Studio. The Bazel plugin comes with other options as well, but this should get you started. For more information, check out the plugins documentation.